y'all? It's Tiffany Lee and I'm back again with another video. For today's video, I'm going to be watercoloring a wig for the first time because I had a 613 wig and I just didn't want to keep it blonde. So to achieve the color that I want, I'm going to be going in with the Adore colors in Intense Red, Copper Brown, and Cinnamon. And then I'm using a color from Essence and it's just in Copper. So I was actually going to leave this part out of the video because I feel like this is where I kind of messed up. But I did use hot water and purple shampoo to try and tone the hair. But I feel like this step was so unnecessary because I was trying to go for a warm color. And when you tone the hair, it makes it more of a cooler color. So I just feel like I messed up here because at the end, I didn't really get the color that I was going for. I ended up liking the color, but like I said, it just wasn't what I was going for. So... If you're trying to get for like a reddish, orange, like just any warm color, I do not recommend toning the hair first. The color that I was going for was like a reddish ginger. Like I only wanted like a hint of red, but like more of an orange color and I wanted it to be more deep. And I just feel like the purple kind of threw that off. So I just figured I'd leave it in just to make sure y'all don't make the same mistake I did. So now for actually coloring the hair, I just took some hot water, which I boiled on the stove and poured it into this bin and then I'm just putting all my colors in there rinsing out the bottle making sure I get every last drop because this stuff is not cheap no I'm just playing but I'm just making sure I get all the product in there and then I'm mixing everything around making sure it's well blended so that the color gets evenly distributed through the wig now I'm no professional so let's keep it cute in the comments not too much on me because this is my first time doing this like I said so this part was really just trial and error I just kept dipping it in the water to try and get my desired color and I do want to say one thing that I did do right was put got to be uh, the blasting free spray on the lace just to make sure that the color did not dye the lace or anything so don't be too alarmed when you see the lace sitting in the water like that I promise I, I protected it so that the lace was not tinted or anything but this part was really just trial and error. I just kept dipping the wig into the water, um, letting it sit a little bit, just trying to let the color marinate a little bit. But like I said, I couldn't really achieve my desired color because I did tone it. And when I pulled it out of the water, you could kind of see what I'm talking about. Like it's kind of like purplish and reddish, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted more like a ginger color. So yeah, just a fair warning. Do not tone your wigs if you're trying to get a warm color. Like I said, I can't stress that enough because... I really feel like if it wasn't for that, it would have been perfect. Like, everything else went smoothly. But, you know, you live and you learn, so it's okay. So, I believe I let the wig sit in the water for, like, 20 minutes. So, this is just what it looks like when it's finished soaking. And now you'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Hey, y'all. So, a little bit has changed since I last seen you guys. So, I just got too tired. I went to bed. And it's been a few days that have passed. I have taken this wig off since then and reinstalled it. I decided I wanted a side part instead of a middle part. So I just was not feeling the first install. Like, I don't know if it was because I did it on camera or not, but it just wasn't giving. Like, the lace was not melted, and I just felt like the lace looked like the hair just looked crunchy and like it just it wasn't working so I'm much happier with the way it looks now I didn't really get to show you guys the color I kind of just went into installing and that was it so I just wanted to show y'all this is what the color looks like up close um, it's definitely more red than I wanted it to be and it's a lot brighter than I wanted it to be but I actually love it like I was going for like a dark ginger with like a hint of red but i made the mistake of toning blonde hair beforehand and i think the purple kind of counteracted with the orange and the red just made it stand out and i don't know like i just i know i messed up somewhere so that's why it's this color but i'm not mad about it i said i wanted to try red hair a while ago so this is me trying it it's not looking too bad right now um i'm getting ready to go to brunch now so i have to touch it up so yeah i guess without further ado i'm gonna wrap this video up for you guys yeah let's let's get this look together
back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they set it up, I got them on it. I bought a new paddock, I had the white so I too tone them. Taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. It ain't your car, you just a lease, so you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I got that five when I'm performing. The back end just came in and all corners. Vibes go look cute. They all on us. I'm from Atlanta where young niggas run shit. I know they hating on me, but I don't read comments. Whenever I tell her to come, she coming. Whenever it's smoke, we ain't running. Look too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around the town. Off this way, doing all these shows. Driving on the road, I don't care where I go. As long as I get paid, I had a little vibe. Chippin' on my mind. Soon as I get back, shit gettin' shredded. Do this all the time. This ain't no surprise. Every other night, another movie gettin' made. Look too hard, don't stand too close. All right, so this is the final result of me watercoloring this 613 wig. I kind of really want to see what the red hair looks like curled, but yeah, I just left this shape for now. So this is the final result. Um, this was my first time watercoloring hair. It didn't turn out the color that I wanted, but I think I did a pretty darn good job. Like, I think it looks good. I really like this color on me. Like I said, I wasn't going for a bright red, but we got red. So here we are, but... That is it for this video, you guys. I really hope you did enjoy. I did my nails um, off camera. These are just some press ones, you know. We're back to the shorties, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stay blessed. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Soon as I get back, she can shred it. Do this all the time. This ain't no surprise. Every other night, another movie can make it. Too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' walk around the town. Off 